Welcome to Off-Grid Contracting. Welcome to our Tennessee Wire Shop. Um, this particular board that we're going to be demonstrating today is exclusively sold at HurricaneWindPower.com. If you'd like, check the link in the video description below. And if you would also like to have us come out and install a system for you, you can reach us at OffGridContracting.com. Um, the particular board that we've got on the wall right now, this is a 40 amp uh, MPPT charge control board. This is good for 12 or 24 volt systems. Um, it will roughly put in a maximum of 520 watt for a 12 volt system or 1040, 1040 watts for a 24 volt system. So it's pretty much a 1K board if you're in the 24 volt world. Okay, so roughly uh, to install this board, it actually comes pre-drilled. So all you have to do is affix this to the wall. It's a two foot uh, board practically, so pretty easy to mount in between, find your studs and drill out. Um, the hookups on this particular board are very simple. This board also comes in a dual board, so you can get up to 80 amps. It's a dual board. Um, this uh, setup, all you have to do is connect your hot and ground that is pre-labeled. They're already pre-labeled. They have the uh, hot and ground marked. Uh, you will hook that to your battery. And then what you'll also do is the PV cables are marked here. So we have our PV negative and our PV positive. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take a solar panel. This particular one here is an 85 watt solar uh, panel. This is sold by HurricaneWindPower.com. This is a synthesis um, solar power. And uh, these panels right here are also marked on the lead. So this makes it super simple for the homeowner to connect them. What you'll do is you'll take and hook your negative and I'm just dry fitting these for the moment because we're restricted for space and that will clip the rest of the way in there for your positive. So we have our PV hooked up and like I say, I'm just putting this together roughly for the moment for demonstration. And right here, then we'll flip on this breaker here, which lets the power pass from the battery bank to the charge controller. And so now we see it's engaged. Now there's a moonlight symbol right now because there's no solar connected. Now you see that we turned it on, the solar's connected. It's trying to make power, but obviously there won't be no power production right now because we're inside the building. Um, this shows the battery bank, um, and here we see the amperage uh, coming in, and this will swap back and forth showing you uh, multiple outputs on it, but also showing you your system voltage. So you can easily go and check this out um, and check out the inputs to your system each day or during the day, any time that you want to. Now, this is also available with EMP features, okay? Now, what that means is, is right here, this, you will get, if you order the upgrade, you can actually get an extra controller in the EMP bag. And that's for you to store in a metalized storage container so that should the EMP event ever happen, you can easily shut down your system, shut down your solar remove these four screws on the charge control, okay? And that will be removed. But right before you undo those four screws, what you wanna do is take the cover off, which is simple as untightening these two screws here. And remember, an EMP just happened, so you wanna make sure and have some hand tools ready to go. And at that point, we'll just remove the safety cover. So as you can see right here now that the cover's removed, we have our PV positive corresponding with our PV positive on the solar or PV negative as so, battery positive and battery negative. And so at this point, it makes it very easy once you've turned your safety disconnect off is to remove these four wires and then remove your fried charge controller. Well, you then screw the new charge controller back into place and then replace those wires into their appropriate area. And at this conjuncture, then just replace your safety cover. And now that we have all our wiring safely secured, um, this board also is easily to easy to ground. You can just take you from uh, ground wire down to a ground rod out of the access here. Just pop the cover, the grounding bar is right here on the inside, very easy to ground out. And at that point now that we've replaced our charge controller back onto the board, we can turn back on the unit. Um, this is after the MP is passed, obviously. And then we turn our solar feed back on and we're back in business. Now, the only drawback to this is obviously 
the saying goes that if you're going to be off grid, you should have two of everything. Well, we've just demonstrated that with your charging system. If you have an inverter, it's more than likely fried as well. If you have an additional inverter put back in storage at that point, you would hook it back up to your battery bank. And the great news is you're back off grid again. So as I said in the beginning of this video, if you'd like to purchase this product, you can find it at hurricanewindpower.com. If you'd like for us to install this for you, you can reach us at offgridcontracting.com. And until we see you again, we look forward to working for you.